Hello everyone, DP Scorpion here, and I'm glad you found the channel. Uh, today we'll be playing some Total War Attila. Uh, most videos we play on this channel will probably be historical, but I will give all the intro, outro stuff at the end of the video. For now, let's just get into it, because I know that's what you're wanting. So, today we're going to be, well, the first campaign we're going to be playing on this channel will be as the Danes. Why? Because who doesn't love themselves some Vikings, right? Well, we'll be playing on hard difficulty, and yeah, let's go. Okay, everyone, so as you can see, start of the campaign. Now, the reason I chose the Danes is because they have immunity to seasickness, which is really going to help us fill that Viking tenacity of just, you know, riding up on the shores and raiding everybody. Because, after all, everyone knows the Vikings are known for three things. The three P's, as I call it. They are pillaging, plundering, and populating. And, yeah, any of you who know the Vikings know what that last one is, and that's the nicest way I could think to put that. Now, if you're looking for anyone good at the game, you should probably go ahead and click out, go check Legend or Air, uh, Sotek, Great Book of Grudges. I am very much someone who's going to make mistakes, and they're probably going to cost us battles, maybe even the campaign. So, yeah, that should be fun. Now, I did say I want to focus on being like Vikings. So I think first thing we have to go with is getting some more, a better navy. I, I know we're immune to seasickness, but that doesn't mean I don't want to have a navy as well. Uh, garrison, garrison, unlocks recruitment up. Okay. Haha, <laughs> that's a large part of our money. But, it's worth it. Okay, let's see what we have going on here. So, we're at war with the... Rugian? Oh, I'm gonna mispronounce so many names. Now, another thing is... Force details... Every... Single... Campaign... We're going to... Have... An army... That... Reflects us. So this time it will be the wise scorpion. As far as any other armies we have, uh, feel free to comment down below on names for them. Uh, I'm more than willing to do it. But we're going to have a scorpion related one because we all scorpion of war or DP scorpion, whichever you prefer. Uh, Okay, that kind of looks like a hyena eating a carrot or something. That, that, that reminds me of uh, Scar and his Be Prepared, so yeah, we're going to go with that. Um, we can't rename the generals, but that's fine. Uh, the Navy, we will do that. Nope. All right, there we are. We'll just do that, uh, Spice and Wolf's one of my favorite things, so you'll probably see the name Holo come up a lot, not gonna lie. Is there one of these that looks like a wolf? I don't really know what that is. I mean, that one, I guess, could be wolf-like in nature, so yeah, there we go. Um, diplomacy... Forces, provinces. Here we are. Diplomacy. Ha! Oh, they hate us. Okay. Well, I hate you guys too. Okay. Geet. Okay, so those are like fellow Vikings, the Jutes and the Geets. Uh, once again, I'm mispronouncing this, I know. I trust you come with honorable uh, words that I can hear kindly. Nope. Uh, non aggression pack. Ooh, no. How about make <laughs> you want to become my hey, vassal? No, okay. Uh, I don't think I have anyone to marry. Oh, I do, and she's a drunkard. Uh, probably, you know, I, I kind of want to get rid of her anyways. Don't oh, they? They won't even take her. <laughs> yeah, I can't say I'm surprised. Not not that I don't love my daughter, but.
man why um I'll pay seven dollars for your wife. Yeah, no big shock if that wasn't gonna happen. The jutes, uh, you have the not aggression pact. No. Waste words. We are worth your better. If I offer you a little bit of money, okay. Okay, we're gonna try one more time, and then we'll just forget it. Oh wait. First off, do you want my daughter? No. <laughs> Nobody wants her. It's okay, though. We, we still love her. Uh, payment. Offer payment. So we offer 300. Let's go five. Okay. Nope. Forget it. You know, Vikings aren't necessarily known for their great diplomacy anyways. So, yeah, we're, we'll just do it. Uh, tax level. Yeah, all that's fine. Join up with the thing, and then we'll come down here. Beautiful. Yeah, we don't have any money. We don't have food. Oh, yeah, no, that, that's not good. We need food. Man, I love the old school games so much. The old historical ones. Um, we might have enough movement to... Yes, we do. Okay, so it's definitely giving him the advantage there. As far as, you know, when he has out on the sea, we clearly have him beat. Um, he's got train. What did the train look like? Okay, so once again, I'm not a great, you know, general like the other guys. There are going to be... <laughs> So I am not a flawless leader that, you know, can take a battle that we should lose, like guaranteed lose, and turn it into a victory. That's not me. I'm the guy who takes a battle that you could, you know, should easily win, and I can still somehow lose it. Because I'm that good. Okay. So, I want you guys docking. Okay, here comes my army. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot the, the cavalry. <laughs> they don't come in on the ships, they come out. Okay, that's fine. Let's go and have them just slowly march the ways over here. The enemy approaches. Yeah, no, we're gonna go ahead and help these guys out real quick. Take down this ship of theirs. The sooner we take out their stuff, the better. We need to get these guys moving. Uh, yeah, you guys go dock over there. You guys can dock there. And... Yeah, you dock over here. Okay, so we we have them docking in multiple areas. That's good. That should help us. They're docking there. Let's see what's going on. <laughs> Just a giant cluster on this ship. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. No, no, no. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, you, you, you can stop. So, uh, we better go focus on the guys who have actually got onto this ship. Okay, so, that shows a bad matchup there. Uh, so. Oh, these guys have a little range. I mean, that's good. Okay, so let's get this done. Okay, beautiful. Yeah, um, everyone, could you dock, please? Okay. I mean, we're getting a charge into their side, so hopefully the sandwich will help because... Ah, nope, it's not. Pull back, guys. Pull back. 
Or at least counter them. Okay. Oops. We have those ships about to come down. Okay. So at the moment, we're not doing the best. We got a nice fire there. That's good. Probably not the best. I have our generals right here. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, we got caught in. Yeah, it's hurting. Uh, no, there's a... Okay, there's a really good chance we're losing this battle, guys. From my mistakes. Yeah, no. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so that one's going... Wait, these guys have already used all their things? Wow, that's a... Little underperforming, uh, and I do say so myself. Okay, let's go destroy this barricade. Um, you guys. You know what? We'll actually take this tower. Because that's going to just be shooting at us. Let's go ahead and just get it, you know, out of the way. Yeah, no, we lost, like, everything over here. Oh, my cavalry got involved now. Oh, no, that's that's bad for us, actually. Okay, I know that's uh, bad, guys. Wait, they come back. Okay, uh, both of you just run. Das. Oh, yeah, no, that's not good. Uh, okay. That's not good. We're getting shot in the back there. Okay, maybe if I throw these archers, which I find completely expendable in, maybe that can help. So, uh, yeah, no, this is going really bad for us at the moment. Yeah, we really needed that to have not did that there. Yeah. First battle might actually be a wash because of my bad decisions. Okay, uh, get back in there, guys. Come on. Alright, did you guys get through? Yes, you did. Good. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, we might have heavy losses, but if we can take the town center here, then the advantages are on our side. Okay, come on. Take the tower already, guys. I really need to get rid of this tower. It's doing a lot of damage to me. 
<laughs> yeah. No. Wait, are you got No. Of course I'll notice which way they're actually facing. Yeah, they are over there. Maybe I wasn't so stupid in the first place. Yeah, it was all part of the plan, guys. All part of the plan. See, th that's what being a Viking's all about. You, you know, distract them with a couple of your units out there, and they leave the city completely unprotected, and you just row on up and take it. Warlord. Vikings in a nutshell. Okay. So we're going to put the generals back here, nice and protected. Uh, this dude, which is, I mean, he's not really much, but we're going to have him there. So, the archers will do this, and then we want to make some choke points here. Yeah, because see, there they come. So we're going to want to make some choke points. I, I kind of want to be able to spread the archers a little thin. There we go. We've captured this. Great. I'll do that. Yeah, I mean, I guess you guys can come up here, but don't really know what good you're going to do me. So, yeah, they definitely have us outnumbered still. But... No. This might be our moment. We don't want skirmish mode on. Okay, good. Okay, so this guy, I mean, we have him now, so uh, might as well just go ahead and send him. Our guys are fresh, at least. Theirs are still fresh, too. That could be better. So they still have quite a few archer units, which is the bigger problem there. We don't really have anything to, like, rear charge them either. Uh, I fully recognize that's my own fault. So yeah, um, we're either about to lose both armies here, or we might actually pull this off. It's gonna be a hard one. The fire rises. The enemy city smolders. What? What's the enemy doing? Where the? Okay, I don't really know where they're heading. Okay, so I'm a little confused by that, so we're going to send this dude who's already damaged out to investigate. I mean, if you have to send someone out, you might as well send the dude who's confused, right? At least, that, <laughs> uh, I mean, at least he seems the most expendable to me. Oh, yeah, also you. Okay, so... There they are. Are they coming? Going? Okay. Officially coming. Okay, you guys get back now then. There we go. Okay, so we have them coming up the thing now. That's beautiful. Boom. That was a nice little shot there. Okay. I kind of want both our arrows just focusing on their bows right now. I mean, there's a lot clumped up here, which means even if our arrows miss who we're aiming for, there's a good chance we'll still hit something, which is nice. Don't like all those shields that are up.
But yeah, there's little we can do. But in a battle of range, we we really can't afford anything else. We can't afford them shooting us, especially some of our more, uh, you know. Hurt units are valuable. The bows are definitely getting some kills, that's good. You guys go ahead and head in there. Okay, so we have that Germanic bow unit taking a lot of damage, that's good. We're dealing some damage to some of the other ones. <laughs> We're routing the things. See, that's a good part about how they're all clumped up, is it's leading to our arrows hitting stuff where they would normally miss. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and move this guy. No, I don't want to do that. I want to just have them join the back of the formation to help sturdy it some more. And yeah, we're definitely having some good damage there. Unfortunately. We could just do a little bit more damage to their bows. Okay. So we could start doing something like a flamish, flaming shot. Whistling shot, minus 12 morale. Minus four morale. I don't think many are like really that damaged on morale though. Hmm. Okay, we'll switch to flaming shot. We we only have you know so much ammo left. We'll get a couple of shots off on their general there. Maybe if we're lucky, we can actually fell the general himself. Oh, come on. Shoot them while they're, they have their backs turned. Oh, did we get one? Ah, oh, we barely got any. Okay. This one's out now. Yeah, not worth it for that. We're just going to do whistling shot at the back there. This is the fleet captain, so we'll go ahead and bring him down. I feel like he's a little bit more expendable. Okay, we are starting to do some decent, you know, scare tactics there. Maybe with throwing the generals in, we can get this. Wait, I don't want that bow shooting at us, so yeah, get him. War cry. Target enemy. Okay. That's a nice little chain route we have going there. Let's try and keep that going. We might yet win this. It won't be a pretty win, but a win nonetheless. Hey, don't, don't go too far out, man. Focus on their general.
Yes, the enemy general is dead. That should do it. That penalty. Okay, both our archers are out. That's fine. They did their jobs fine. Yes! Victory. Oh, <laughs> decisive victory, uh, I disagree, but <laughs> that was in no way for decisive. Thousand, they lost 37, yeah, not decisive at all. Oh, 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 oh that's rough. Hey, we kept our cavalry, though. Subjugate? Depending on your cult. Okay, I feel like in the older games, like, subjugating them... Just usually makes them turn right around and attack you, so we're gonna occupy. For the tribe. Yes. Yes. Besides, we need a little home base if we want to go out, you know, pillaging, plundering, and populating. Four hundred thirty two dollars, that's a lot, but what is this? Goat herd. Yep, food. We need that food. Okay, so there we go. We have no money, but all in all, I'd say that's pretty effective. I think they were our only enemies at the moment. No, where else? Uh, no, Rugians. Oh, that's the ones we just fought, isn't it? I think so. Maybe well, yeah, I should have subjugated them. <laughs> you know, I... Oh, a provincial governor. Okay, so this dude here, definitely, you know, it seems like it'd be good, but... A Viking who's a thing does seem kind of weird. Scans it, uh, yes. There we go. In our home country. Don't really care too much about that one. <laughs> Seek wife. Not yet. Yeah. Uh, edict. There we are. Army recruitment capacity plus one, religious influence, province teach region, research rate. I do like that. Uh, research rate is always nice. Construction cost, growth. Yep, we're going to go with that. After all, I did say populating was one of our goals. So, this faction was no match. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, guys. Woohoo! First battle, and I <laughs> mean, we almost. Blew it and lost. So. I I'm sure you can see how this is going to go out. An exclusive right of spread child room is about a member of your family. Give the order and they will be silenced. Pay them off. Eh. Ignore. Trade gained unpopular. Oh, well, that's. Ah. Influence minus 15 for Dan here. I don't feel like I have enough influence to really pay him off. I'm going to have to go with control. I'll just ignore him for now. Let him speak his, you know. Oh. Uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, wait. Cunning plus one, that's good. Construction cost. A horde building. Melee defense. Food, five from characters. When hoard, uh, ammunition, looting, yep, looting, there we go, we definitely want looting, that's going to be something we do, okay, so we have some money now, and we have food, which is great, we really needed both of those, uh, I don't want to do this yet, cause I don't know what I'm going to build there, or monetarily what I'm going to do, so, I don't want to risk getting a slum. Recruit units. Uh, I think we need an actual army, as far as that goes. So... The army will actually leave. And then get right back in, apparently. 
There we go. Okay. Recruit unit. What do we have? Thrall Skirmisher, Nordic Skirmisher, Nordic Curlers, Nordic Levy. Okay, so nothing too great at the moment. Uh, 210 to get 140, 80, 65. Wow, that's pretty uh, tempting. But we do need some at the moment. So we're going to go ahead and pick up four of those. That seems good. We have this going. Uh, diplomacy. Anything we can do diplomacy-wise. I'm really scared of these guys coming to attack us. Uh, I, I come offering you $1,200. <laughs> Not even for $1,200. Come on. How about you guys? I'm willing to pay for it, guys. I really am. One more try. We're not in a position to fight off the guys from the north. Ah, dang it. Okay. Uh, recruit units. Oh, hire mercenaries. What do we have? Uh, longship mercenary. Mercenary bow. Wait, is that any different than what I have normally? No, it is not. Okay, so yeah, no, not doing that. So those bowmen actually did come super in handy, so... We're gonna need a bigger fleet. Yeah, we're, we're gonna get a couple more fleet units. I'm not gonna hire anybody else, because I, I want to see where that leaves us money-wise. I, I know that's probably gonna put us in a bad position. Ah, yep, there it is. The okay, that's not really coming for me in the night. Um, okay, and he gets his reinforcements. They do have sea sickness. What do we have? Okay, that's all we got to get, get us in there. Ah, dang it. Okay, so, um, we're gonna fight it, but this is death loss. So, we lost the capital already. That's, <laughs> things could be going better for us at the moment. <laughs> But yeah, in case you guys are wondering how this campaign is going to go, I think you can get a feel for it now. Uh, okay, as far as the Navy ship goes, I actually want to put him out here. Because he should be able to actually perform better. Wait, is this just his Navy so far at the moment? I think that's just his Navy. So we're going to try to avoid engaging his Navy. Oh, come on. They had a nice shiny hill. Okay, so we... Uh, the town center's here. Is all that area you can come up on? Yes, it is. Okay. So... Yeah, that's not the best. Uh, yeah, these are skirmishers. So, place it here in case he decides to do that. I mean, I doubt he plans on setting anything up there, but just in case. Uh, we'll barricade there. And, yeah, we, we don't really have much option here. <laughs> We're in a really bad predicament here. Like, I don't think we are even going to be able to do much damage. We're going to... Yeah. Oh, this is a dude I just... <laughs> well, I said a Viking's not much if he's, you know, just a... You know, senator. And, of course, their fleet comes in on the other side. I'm not going to be able to reach that in time, unfortunately. Yeah. Fools! Wiser men would flee before our numbers! 
on. Go, go, go. Our general is under attack. That was fire. Nope. It, it's already taking place. They caught us. See, unfortunately, we got caught by their navy. If we could have got to these guys, yeah, we would have done so well. Yeah, no. We lost our one ship. No, 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 no. Turn, turn. Okay. So, I mean, I think we definitely have the advantage here, but we need to get rid of these guys before, like, these troops come in. Come on. This is not going... I mean, they're actually holding out a lot longer than I thought, which is impressive. Okay. Yeah, you go ahead and come over this way. It seems like the battle's going to be taking place over here. Man, he's actually getting owned by these freaking horses. Is my tower shooting me in the back? Is that what's going on? I really don't feel like we should be having this many issues with the horses. Okay. Uh, yeah, towers keep shooting at them. Maybe that'll do us some good. The enemy have rallied their units. Ah, uh. oh, come on. Okay, he's at least not going for him. Okay, beautiful. Okay, so, I mean, we should be able to hold them for a while as they dock there. Main thing is just see how much, you know, damage we can cause. Come on. Fire. Fire. Okay, get back, get back. Yeah, the fact that they have the archers there is problematic for us, that's for sure. Very little I can do about it, though. Oh man, these guys are already wavering. I mean, this guy's at least, you know, doing okay. He's holding his own at least. Yep. There that is. We're gonna get hit in the back. So I'm thinking if we can get the one over here, we might be able to wrap up this little battle. And I mean, it's not much, but it'll be something. Yep. That's not surprising. Skirmishers. I mean, we're doing great, at least at, you know, wrapping up this little fight. <laughs> ready. 
That's not good. That means they're gonna come back, unfortunately, behind us. Which, yeah, that's that's problematic for us. We're losing that, which is gonna get rid of our leadership buff we have. We we wanted that. Ah, and there comes the fire from that. Enemy units have returned to the battle. Yep, there's that. I mean, we're doing a lot of damage to these bows, but yeah, it doesn't matter. We are going to lose this battle. Just no ifs, ands, or buts about that. Our general versus his. And if we're lucky, maybe we can at least kill this guy before we, uh, you know, lose. That would be best case scenario, is if we can kill their general over here before we lose. No, not our general fell. That's really not what we wanted. We really wanted his general to have fell. So, um, yeah. We're gonna go just kind of a back-to-back -back thing here as we try to hold out for as long as we can. With the general falling, this unit is... Yeah. Yeah. The men are broken and running for their lives. This one won't last now, being attacked in the rear. That's unfortunate. Okay, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> Already lost our capital. Man, this little Nordic Levy, man. He is doing his best. He's being attacked in the front back. Oh, that's 3,000 I just spent on that port gone. That's a shame. Oh, and we lost one of our heirs. Yeah, that's that's sad too. Okay, so yeah. Sacked, but not taken. No, I don't want to do that. I think I'd have to repair in order to try and stop construction so yeah we're just gonna leave that at it we're going to build that I mean that is tempting but we just lost a lot of stuff ready for orders ready for orders okay. so we do want to go take that back but obviously we're going to need troops to do that with how much are is this settlement actually providing us okay so it looks like only 322 at the moment so good yeah we need all that money hire mercenaries what do we have available a oh, sweet okay so those would be nice uh, that's not bad oh i was really kind of hoping that would be there wolf coats sure that sounds amazing I mean, even just rule of cool. Uh, 255, that's a lot. 385? Oh, no, it definitely can't do that. Uh, we will get him. Let's go. 305 for this guy. But, I mean, I think he'll be worth it. There we go. So yeah, that decreased our thing quite a bit. We still can't really do much here. Death in battle. There is no okay, we'll get two more of those. We need good fighters. There we go. And we as far as ships go, mercenaries, still the same thing. We will we get one of each. Men. 
Uh, and turn. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Feel. I mean, he has a good age. That, yeah. So, yeah, we're actually going to put him here. Because, unfortunately, our capital there, we're just kind of giving up on. It, it, it's, it's bad, but, yeah, that was always going to come. <sighs> yeah, we knew we were losing our capital. We knew it. Oh, yeah, go and sell your ship back. But that's okay. Because we're going to go crush his two armies. Just wait. We will. Thirsty for battle. Ooh, yeah, that's bad. Okay. Seal. Yeah, yeah, definitely want that melee attack. And that, yeah, no, I want both of those. That's beautiful. Okay. Let's see. So, the garrison here should be really weak at the moment. I mean, that's not a bad thing there. 16 out of 20, 12 out of 20. 19. We do have some injured ones. Okay. I could get another one of these. That is tempting. Just go ahead and get that last little one in there. I mean, we're really low on funds. I know that, but... Yeah, no, we're going to do it. Let's see. So that should be his main army that he had. That's his fleet. That should be his garrison. This is his other army. So, I mean, not the best, but probably still better than what we have. Or at least with me commanding it. Now, I know a lot of you are like, you can auto-resolve this and win. I can. But I'm not going to. Uh... Like battle on the battlefield. Fog. Severely reduced visibility. Okay, um, he has a lot of range units, so this might actually be in my favor. So yeah, no, we'll go with fog. They won't even see us sneaking up on them. By the time they realize we're there, we'll already have defeated them. <laughs> I have no clue what that voice is. Uh, this will probably be the last battle, and then I'll do the quick uh, wrap-up at the end, like I said at the beginning. And then, yeah, uh, we will have another one of these videos Wednesday. Hopefully, we can get things going, because at the moment, it's definitely looking bad for us. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Here comes the Vikings. La, 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 la. Yeah, so, uh... Horses, this time around, we're not gonna waste! We are heavily outnumbered. Their city is almost in ruins. Well, which one are you telling me, game? Do you think we have a chance? Or not? Okay, the fleet is actually more expendable than the main army. So we're going to go ahead and get them in there. I'm going to go and bring up the range. Oh, look, all of their stuff there. Oh, crap. 
<laughs> when your archers are the first ones to jump out. Like, hey, we're here. Yeah, yeah, you're there. Hate you guys. Oh wait, this one is a bow one. Let's go ahead and do that. These two. Okay, these weaker troops up here we should actually be able to take out. We might be able to take out these uh, archers too. And that would actually be worth something to us. Take out the skirmishers. Take out these bows. Need you to help with that. Okay. This is a, you know, pretty healthy bow unit, so we want to get this down quickly. Oh, come on, yes. Okay, at this point we would have lost our charge bonus, so you know, we're going to go ahead and get out of there. Well, I mean... Get out of there or attack this unit. I mean, same thing, really, right? Okay, we have definitely taken some casualties. Enemy units have been rallied. They will bleed for us. Move it! Warriors eager for blood. Mountain Raiders! Leave the earth with their blood! Okay, so we're getting these Nordic bows, pretty good. Okay, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Get out of there. Okay, so what it's looking like it's gonna happen is this is actually... This is actually going to become like <laughs> we had the settlement again, defensive battle. The only problem is they still have their towers. Okay. I want to get these guys away as soon as possible. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and have this one turn around to hit. It's probably going to be expending this one, but that's okay. And now we'll hit with this one. Hopefully that will allow us to take the initiative in that. Or not. Okay, attacked in the rear. Okay, there's the damage coming in. Oh, no. That's bad. Honestly, yeah, I really don't want to keep getting shot in the back, so I'm going to go try and take some of this. I mean, on the bright side, it is one of those things where, you know, oh, they put a barricade there. That actually could come in handy for us. Go there. Like I said, this is actually becoming a settlement batter, battle, but where it's like we're on the defense. <laughs> kind of funny how that played out, right? We'll 
No, if I want you guys shooting anybody, it's gonna be them. Ah, uh, I'm not gonna get there in time, am I? Nope, we're not gonna get there in time. That's unfortunate. Okay, those guys are deploying. Uh, yo, archers! Think you could just, I don't know, shoot? Let's do heavy shot. Let's really get in there. Get over there. That's where I'm gonna need some reinforcement. Yeah, over here is where we need the most of the reinforcement. So we're definitely gonna lose this general, but if he can just buy us some time. I need all of you getting off the ships now, okay? That's what I need. More than anything else. So with how they're coming in, we're actually getting some really good shots in on their backs. That's going to do wonders for us. The big thing is going to be if the general over here can actually hold on until we get there. I almost have the troops there to back him up. He's going to die, but the question is, can he actually stay long enough for us to get there? I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually really impressed with how he's been able to hold up. He's done an amazing job for us. I don't think anyone can take that from him. Okay, that slinger is pretty much out. Uh, hey, okay, so you two, we're gonna go, I need you to shoot out those bows. general because I don't think he's died yet if we get these guys into comp nope they run for the lives <laughs> well I mean we were about to try to save him okay might have to look at optimization things it looks like I mean, this game was never necessarily the most optimized game in the first place, but dang if it isn't fun. I so thoroughly enjoy this. Uh, how about? No, no, no. Shoot. Stop running at him. He's, he's not a friend. Okay. Let's do... Oh, no, you're out now. Okay. Uh, you start shooting back there. You're out. Okay, you still have ammo. Get up here. 
You two have ammo. Okay, fine. Hey. Who's still on a ship? Oh, you, no. Probably just two of the strongest units I have in melee. Why would I want them, right? Actually have a plan here. Okay. One, that's their general. Okay, beautiful. That should get us some nice back shot. Unless my guys wrap around and the Dumbest move ever. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, go ahead and do some flaming shots just into the backs, men. The enemy general is dead. That's beautiful. Yeah, there's some ravering going on. Chain. Yes. Oh, did we just take back our capital, guys? I do believe we did. We have no horses to chase him down with, unfortunately. But as long as they're within range of our arrows we are going to shoot them on shoot 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 turn quicker and shoot come on yes oh that's beautiful This one he gets for coming and attacking us. <laughs> I love how that dude just like threw his head. Oh look, he's trying to crawl. <laughs> oh, oh, that's amazing. I, I don't think I've ever paid attention enough to see they actually had a crawling animation when they died like that. Start for really rough start. And I mean, we took it back. So it doesn't matter, right, guys? Right. Um, that last army of his, I mean, it took some damage. Our main army is actually in pretty good shape. We lost these, uh, mercenary step-mounted bowies, which is actually amazing, because they were costing us a lot of money. <laughs> uh, we lost a couple of ships, so that should get us back in the positive. We are definitely taking back our capital. Oh, yeah. There we go. Ah, it costs so much to repair. Nah. <laughs> well, that one doesn't. So we'll go ahead and repair this one. And that one. Okay. I don't have enough to do the thing yet. That's unfortunate, but it is the way it is. I mean, that one seems like the damage level is actually... Yeah, no, we're actually going to repair the jetty first. I, I think that's the wiser decision there. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this. Okay, there we go. So, uh, I'm just going to leave it. I will, we'll go with... What screen? Yeah, this screen here. So... As I talk you through this, I'm 
going to start playing Total War campaigns on the Scorpion of War channel. I'm going to have fun. We're going to mainly focus on historical titles. So like right now, we're doing uh, Attila. I think the next one will probably be Three Kingdoms. But when we get there, I'll, I might just do a vote. See if you guys want Medieval 2, uh, Shogun 2, uh, Empire, Napoleon. I mean, there's just a lot of them. You have Three Kingdoms. You have Troy. You have Thrones uh, of Britannia. All of them are fun. Uh, eventually, you'll have pharaohs. I'm really looking forward to that. But yeah, so I'm just going to be posting these videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So that will be three campaign videos a week. Usually, they'll be somewhere between 30 minutes to an hour long. I'll try to cut out the loading screens uh, and editing for you guys. Uh, other than that, uh, I'm hoping to see you guys here. If we can get to 1,000 subscribers... I will do another, go ahead and start up that second campaign on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, yeah, I, I'm hoping you guys like it. Any views on one of these videos, we will have a special video on that Sunday, which will just be a siege battle, and that can be from any of them, even the Warhammer franchise. So if you guys want to see me just in siege battles, that will be a good way to do it, is if we get to a thousand views. Uh, I also might do some multiplayer if we get there, and that's what you guys want on Sundays as a special. But that's uh, all that for now. I hope to see you guys next time. And as you saw, this will not be your typical Total War campaign by all the other ones who are actually good at the game. But it's in my nature to be this bad. So till next time. Remember, don't go against your nature. Be a scorpion, and hopefully you're better at the game than me. Have fun. Uh, subscribe, comment, like, any of that stuff if you feel like it. If you like the content, uh, there will be more coming. So, yeah. Have fun, guys.